and we're in it. Kendrick Lamar album review coming soon. Anyway, so Insurgent, the sequel to Die Divergent. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't read the books. Divergent, I've only seen once, and don't really plan on seeing it ever again in my entire life. Uh, there's going to be spoilers, by the way, so... Yeah. First off, I hate... Oh my god, Kate Winslet. I, I have always wanted to just marry and have sex with that woman. She, she She's such a phenomenal actress, and she just as she's always been so ex extraordinarily attractive to me. I mean, her in that blue dress, son. I mean, I would get it, but anyway... Kate, Kate Winslet's uh, villainous character felt so underwhelming. Fuck! It was like the same exact issue with Chappie, where in Chappie, Hugh Jackman, he's a great actor, so his his uh, him in the villain role should have been like, Ugh! but it wasn't, and it's the same issue here. Kate Winslet, as the, as the villain, she should have been just... Amazing in the role, you know, and uh, no, her role, her role just was very underwhelming, and <clears throat> it felt like it could have been played by anyone. God, the, the the acting in this movie is just so I don't know. Like, if it, it feels as if like every scene, every scene, like everything we're seeing is the first take that they did. Because, like, the acting just feels off. Like, there was this part at the beginning of the film where uh, Miles Teller, Miles Teller, he, like, says something to Shailen Woodley, like, like, you killed your parents. Or he says something like that. And, and Shailen w Woodley, uh, this chick, the main chick, she, she, like, jumps across the table and, like, attacks him and has a knife, you know? And, like, literally, I, I thought that sequence was part of a dream sequence because it just felt so off like the acting the acting in this movie just feels so awkward and and stiff and just just off it feels like this movie should have premiered on the sci-fi channel <laughs> the main chick uh shaylin woodley however you say her name listen she's an adorable chick and it's very clear that she's got acting chops like specifically when that true serum got injected into her neck and she had to, like, uh, confess some secrets, you know? Or, uh, there was this one moment when, uh, uh, Kay Winslet, she, like, made these three people try to commit suicide by, like, falling off a ledge. And one of the people, one of the people, like, uh, actually dies. And just the look in Shailen Woodley's face when that happened, when she realized that, you know, someone died because of her, because she didn't turn herself in. You know, the chick has acting chops for sure and and she does the best she can <laughs> with this role but uh, i mean i don't know she, she is the thing that stands out about this movie um she has great potential as a actress but everyone else in the cast just felt just underwhelming and as if they were just giving a given horrible direction from the director uh the action sequences are just so meh you know, the cinematography is good, whatever. Um, Miles Teller's character kind of annoyed me. This dude right here, okay, I don't know what his character name was, but what a bitch. Seriously. Okay, when they were on the train, listen, if you are, if you are on a train with Shailen Woodley and fucking motherfuckers are throwing fists and, like, she starts, like, decking people and you cower away... You're a bitch, bro. Okay, I came and look how skinny I am. Okay, I came and fight. But if I was on that train, okay, at, at, at least I would just be headbutting people and kicking people. My God, Jesus Christ. And by the way, that train sequence pissed me off so much. You mean to tell me, you know that guy named Four? <laughs> oh my God, you mean to tell me that like this, like after that whole fight on that train, this motherfucker's like, um, my name is blah. Or he he says a name, like he says his real name, and like everybody's like, oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like, bro, you could. You mean to tell me you could not have thought to? Oh, I don't know. Say your name before getting your ass beat by all these people. Oh my God, there's just leaps of logic like this all over the film. 
all over. And then the, you know, this part uh, towards the end where she's got those 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 wires stuck in her. The simulations. <sighs> Why were the simulations ruined in the trailer? Why is that? I mean, they weren't really that great to begin with. They were kind of interesting. This sequence right here, for some reason, like, it was, they were trying to make it so dramatic that, I, like, I actually, I was laughing during this part. And I was laughing quite a bit when she had to fight herself. For some reason, like, it was just, they were trying to be so melodramatic. Dramatic. It just, it was just cracking me up. Um, oh my god, Jim from Lost. Uh, anyway, uh, I mean, the movie looked good. The main actress, um, she did really well. Seeing Kate Winslet in that blue dress. Um, the, the, I gotta admit, the explosions towards the end of the movie were pretty fucking awesome. But that's the only positives you're gonna get out of me about this movie. And, well, I mean, I'll admit, it, it does seem like they kinda, sorta, a little bit tried to make a good movie but failed. Uh, I'm not really looking, not looking forward to the next one, but I'm feeling the five out of 10. What did you think of this film? What'd you think of the books? What'd you think of the first film? Let me know down below.